Welcome to Newburyport on the North Shore of Massachusetts. Today we'll be visiting a full-size replica of Christopher Columbus's flagship, the Santa Maria. It made its way from the Atlantic Ocean up the Merrimack River and is docked at Newburyport's waterfront. The Nao Santa Maria, Nao in Spanish means ship or vessel, was the flagship of Christopher Columbus on his first voyage to the New World. The original ship was one of the most famous ships of humankind. On October 12, 1492, led by Christopher Columbus, it played the main role on one of the most important historic landmarks of history, the discovery of maritime routes that led to America. The arrival of the Santa Maria on May 31st was a great opportunity for grade school teachers to arrange field trips to the vessel. There is probably no better way to teach history than to stand on the ship, albeit a replica, that was first to reach our shores. The 200-ton Spanish tall ship was built in Spain in 2017. It left Spain and stopped at the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa for the taking on of supplies. The Canary Islands belong to Spain and are a haven for tourists during the long European winters. The Canary Islands are only 70 miles off the coast of Africa. The Canaries consist of a volcanic archipelago of seven islands. The Canary Islands are Europe's winter place in the sun, with miles of tropical beaches for the tourist to enjoy. The flora and fauna on these islands are breathtaking and adds to the beauty of the Canaries. The traveler can go almost anywhere in the Canaries and find extraordinary scenery, from huge overhanging cliffs So this is a Spanish flagged exact replica of Christopher Columbus's flagship, the Santa Maria. This is the first time that this vessel has come to any port in New England. The ship was built and launched in Spain. The 92 foot long Nao Santa Maria, just like its forerunner, sailed from Spain to the Canary Islands. This ship then crossed the Atlantic Ocean, stopped in Puerto Rico, then Florida, and finally Virginia before winding its way to Newburyport. Built in the Punta Umbria shipyards of Spain, it employed about a hundred professional workers, craftsmen, carpenters, rope makers, mechanics and electricians. The work lasted 12 months and combines the construction in fiberglass and its lining in 45 cubic meters of Iroco wood. This wood has great durability and resistance to weathering and different climactic and meteorological agents. The length of the ship is 28.30 meters. Its width is 7.96 meters. It hosts 300 square meters of sail, but of course, unlike its predecessor, it has an engine. Okay, this is the capstan, my friends. Hello. It's used to move heavy cargo and move the anchor in when you stay in the sea. Usually, in the ancient times of Columbus times, you never can look this boat like this situation, okay? In the dock, with the ropes, never. I have engines, I can use the engines to move the boat, 
but in the Columbus times only had the sales, no? And it's very difficult to arrive uh, one dog only using the cells, okay? Christopher Columbus was born in Genoa, Italy in 1451. He derived a plan to sail westward to reach Asia. He failed to get the money he needed from the King of Portugal, so he arrived as a supplicant at the court of Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain, hoping for cash and three tall ships. He became known at court because of his colorful clothes and excessive drinking. In 1492, Columbus left for his journey with three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and his flagship, the Santa Maria. He first reached land at an island he'd named San Salvador, the Holy Savior. Because he thought he had reached India, he called the natives he found on the island Indians. Unfortunately for Columbus, the Santa Maria ran aground and was wrecked on the island of Española on Christmas Day in 1492. On the location of the shipwreck, known as Bahia de Caracol, today's Haiti, the first Spanish settlement in America was built from the wreckage. It was the Fuerte Navidad, or Christmas Fort. The Santa Maria was a larger vessel with a rounder shape and deeper draft than the Nina or the Pinta, but slower with a forecastle deck, quarter deck, poop deck, and a cabin. She had a whip staff as a steering system, and it carried two auxiliary rowing boats on board.